zero DT strategy. I'm, the jury's still out for zero T, DTs for me personally. I mean, like I'm I'm very mixed. The other day I made money. Because you've had mixed results. Yeah, I've right? had mixed results. Right. I, I don't I don't like the fact that I don't have any control. So that bothers me. Like I feel like I have control over all my other positions, and I feel like I don't have any control on zero DTs. So I don't like that. Um, there's other pieces of it I like, but generally speaking. I don't know how successful I would be if I only could trade zero DTs, mm -hmm. right? How, do you think you'd be up, make money or not? Well, if you think about it, back in the day as a market maker, that's what we wanted to do and we're successful at it. I think as a retail investor, I don't think I could be successful if at it. we had it. zero DTs when I was a market maker and the markets were as wise as they were, I'd have made a billion dollars. That's correct. I would have, because I was really good on zeros. That was my thing. Oh my God, you <laughs> honest, honestly. I loved zeros. I loved expiration day. I wouldn't have made it. To, I, I wouldn't have lived past forty because I would have been dead by the time I was forty. There was no better expiration trader than the guy across the pit, pit from you, and that was me. And across the table from you now, you know that. Oh you god. know that. Oh my god! You you I, made my nut on expiration day. I made my month on expiration day. And the rest of the month was just gravy. I don't really wear a jock strap, but you couldn't carry my jock strap. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Okay, we're in a different. We're in different you leagues. You have bat wings. You have bat wings. You we, get we're, bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> we're in different leagues. Oh, expiration. We're in I different leagues. Back of my mouth a little bit. Okay, different leagues. We're playing different sports. Oh my you know, God! You're a month behind. You're a bush league. Oh my God! <laughs> Don't listen to what he's saying. He's out of his mind. Oh my God! Zero DTs. S let's do this. <laughs> See, traded this. more than you. I traded bigger than oh you. Oh my God! Oh my God! Where's Frankie when you need him? Frankie, defend me in the uh, in the YouTube chat. You know the deal. I, I'll whatever Frankie says, I'll go by. Oh my God! Um. <sighs> Zero DT strategy sensitivity during the day. You ready? <sighs> no. <laughs> I can't even believe you. Like, Sponsored you're, by the CBOA. You're delusional. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> Who made more money on uh, on the biggest one-day event ever? One which was the day. crash of That's 1987. Your one day. Who made more money on that day? That's the only day you can ever go back to in history. Oh, my God. <laughs> we know that the decay of zero DT options is relatively consistent until the last two hours of the day. That's why I'm getting out before the last two hours of the day. So the SPX theta decay. And again, th this is, you know, something we, we talk about when it comes to zero zeros. We don't um, we don't trade enough to that this becomes quite so obvious in our trading with respect to, you know, at the money straddle decays with 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 on on the day of expiration. It's just it's not part of what we do anymore. Maybe it was, you know, 30 years ago, but not now. So when we talk about SPX theta decay, this has only recently come back into play for zero DTs. 8.30 to 10, 34%, 10.30 to 12, 10.40 to 12.50, um, 23%. And then obviously the end of the day is when the, you see the complete, you know, just destruction in, in, in option premium. Um, like I said, those don't come into play very much for us, but by 12, 12.30, you know, one o'clock, we're, we're not going to be in the zero DT position. If there's any juice left, the only way we're in a zero DT position, the only way we're in a zero DT position at the end of the day is if it's if it's a worthless trade and we're just hanging on, you mm -hmm. know, for taking a lucky shot. Let's go to the next slide. So what is your exposure or what is the exposure of a variety of strategies in the first half hour versus the last half hour of the day? Um, if the market makes a move. Let's take a look. So we compared the following strategies in the first and last half hour period. The $10 and $30 wide fly, I did $20 wide mm -hmm. today. The at the money option and the $10 and $30 wide at the money spread. We recorded the change in the option price as a percent when the SPX makes a move of five, 10 or $20. Now today, you know, it made a move of thirty dollars, a little over thirty. We're right now; it's thirty-three dollars. Yeah, thirty-three. So it's a pretty big move today. Mm -hmm. We didn't even we didn't even look for this type of move. Um, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so in the first half hour, because remember this is a zero DT study, the exposure of any strategy is relatively contained, and it can be managed. That was our main takeaway: that on an average day. The on an average day, the first in the first half hour, 
Okay, you can essentially, you know, um, this is option price changes as a percent of. So the ten dollar fly, the thirty dollar fly, which is the same thing if it's a butterfly, not an iron fly, but just a butterfly, and the at the money option, the ten dollar spread. I mean, every one of those numbers on this page is essentially manageable, except you know, one hundred and thirty percent or fifty percent is not really what you want, but. Um, but most of this time is that we trade zeros. We are doing defined risk, so we're in the. We're not doing the at the money option. We're doing the ten dollar wide fly, the thirty dollar wide fly, the twenty dollar wide fly, the ten dollar spread, the twenty dollar spread, the thirty dollar spread. Okay, so these are defined risk. And we look at the defined risk trades. The flies don't move that much at all, and the spreads move. You know, whatever, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 percent. Okay, mm -hmm. um, the at the money op, the the the. The naked options, we just don't do those very often in there. It's too much, too much capital ties up. Way too much capital in SPX. Let's go to the next slide. No matter what the account size, better ways to use it. So this is the last half hour. So the exposure across iron flies and naked options is anywhere from 10 to 50 times larger when trading the last hour of the day. So if you want bag for your buck and you think that there's something going on, I mean, you're better. Trading the first hour is not worth it risk reward wise. Trading the last hour, you get 50x. 10 to 50x. So that's a whole different animal. The last half hour. So at the money spreads are also more volatile, but not as much because the first half of the spreads assume to be starting the money. So when you look at the at the money options here, it's it's over 10x, in some cases up to 20x. And when you look at the flies and everything else and and the, the spreads, um, you know, it's a even though it's defined risk, the difference is huge. It's multiples of. The risk is definitely there. The reward's definitely there. The risk is definitely there. It's a risk reward game. So for sure. you want more bang for your buck, and you're going to win less often. You know, you trade that last half hour and just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. It's a crapshoot. There's nothing. So it's not real skill, I guess. Maybe unless you can call the market right. Um, so maybe there's some skill to that. But for the most part, you know, give yourself a little more time. The swings are smaller, and you at least have a chance. I think. Um, let's go to the next slide. Notice the difference in risk between the narrow butterflies and the wider butterflies as the day progresses. Narrow butterflies could be held close to expiration where the wider butterflies need to be managed early. There's just, yeah, there's a lot of risk. I, I middled it this morning. I did the, tw the $20 wide, which is dead smack in the middle. Still didn't work today because he had a $33 move. Still Let's time. There is time. You want to buy my position for me? I'll sell it to you at a sure. discount. At the market price was about no. a dime for sure. You can buy the market price on your own. <laughs> so takeaways. Trading a zero DT strategy in the last half hour of the day means 10 to 50 times more exposure compared to the same strategy at the beginning of the day. Trading a zero DT strategy in the last half hour means 10 to 50 times more exposure depending on the strategy you choose, whether it's naked or not, um, compared to the same strategy if you did at the beginning of the day. If you're doing it back to 45 days, it's probably like a thousand times greater in the last half hour of the day. Narrower defined risk trades can be held closer to expiration because the gamma is somewhat contained, but wider spreads act more like naked options. You know, what's funny is like some people will say, like, I, I had to talk to this reporter the other day, and she said to me, um, she said, yeah, but options are still too dangerous for the, the customer she was writing for. Sure. And I go, I go, but you do understand. Like, you can't compare a strategy that has, that let's just say, for example, you do one contract, and it's a one last strategy, and it's $10 in risk if you do it 45 days out. Like, literally, it's going to move $10 over the course of the day, no matter what happens. And if you compare that to doing a zero DT last half hour of the day, you know, where you could lose 100% or make 100%, like, what are we talking about here? Right. You're, like, like you're not in, comparing in, apples to apples. Exactly. In one example, you're saying, oh, my God, I'm taking $10 in risk. I'm controlling 100 shares taking $10 in risk. Another example, I'm controlling 100 shares taking $1,000 in risk. Right. They're essentially the same trade, but they're, one, is, one has a half hour left to go in the day, and one has 45 days left to go. So it's not, it's not the same thing. You know, that's the, that's the challenge. Let's say a quick 90-second break and come back. We got more Tasty Live going to hit you next with, um, oh, joy, Mr. Scott Sheridan, Tasty Trade World Headquarters.